Hey, good morning, everybody. Robert here. And I uh, just wanted to talk to you about the progress of the house build. And we got to go over a couple other things. I haven't, uh, haven't made a video in for like two months. And the problem is that, uh, you know, the vloggers around here and Dumaguete, blogging capital of the world, we've been having kind of a rough time, uh, a lot of friction from people and uh, between us vloggers. So, you know, I thought it would be just good to just take off, you know, and just stop talking and start listening and uh, consider, am I being ethical in what I'm doing? So, uh, you know, I just kept my mouth shut and uh, watch and, you know, try to learn, figure out if I'm doing the right thing. Because I like making videos, but, you know, uh, I don't want to be a part of any friction. I want to be friends with everybody. And uh, all these guys are my friends here, you know. So it's, it's really a tough position to be in. So... Anyways, I'll continue with my uh, making videos and try to do a good job, you know, something that everybody wants to see. And, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, take videos of vacations, take videos of the house build, take videos of, uh, you know, things that I find interesting around here. And so anyways, we got the house build and uh, let's see. Uh, one, one of the things when, uh, when I first bought the property, one of the questions I asked was, you know, um, is somebody going to need a right of way to go across my property because there's two big giant lots behind my house. And then I got like construction on one side and then a river on the other side. So anyway, the only way to get to those, uh, properties, that are behind my property is through my property and of course <laughs> talking to the seller you know you can't uh, believe what somebody just tells you they said no no they're they'll have access uh on the other side of the river though they can come into their property so i was like okay yeah i don't think so and then uh, a couple weeks ago, the barangay captain comes to us and says, uh, there's a guy building a house behind your property there. He's going to need access for a truck, you know, through your property. <laughs> oh, there it is. You know, and, and I know the guy building the house. He's been building for a couple months. You know, nice, nice guy, Filipino guy. He's got four children, you know, four young children, you know, a new growing family. So, you know, of course, uh, we gave him, give him the access. We had to move, uh, one of our temporary fences over so he can get a truck through there. And, you know, you, you, you have to deal with these things. These things always come up, you know, uh, property line issues. That's why we got our property on the road. Cause we didn't want to have, um, you know, a property line issue or access issue. Cause around here, you know, like when you got to have access, a lot of people, they want money, you know, it's like, you're going to go across my property. Uh, you know, we're going to have to go to court and I'm, you know, they want to charge you like some crazy amount, you know, cause you have to have that access. So they're going to charge you like all kinds of money, maybe rent it to you or sell you the easement or something like that. And it, it gets really crazy. And people, people have been, uh, put in jail for things that they've done. Uh, you know, uh, we had a, a policeman that uh, killed somebody over a fight that started from, you know, property line access, you know, like it's just uh, terrible, you know, to the, to the extent, to the extent that they'll take real estate problems to, you know, around here. So, uh, we gave that guy the access there. And, uh, then on the other side of <laughs> here, I'm trying to get, uh, you know, I don't want any troubles for access and you know, I'm getting my property on a main road. So I got on one side, I got to give uh, a guy access on the other side, 
I had an incident. Uh, I thought that the neighbor built his fence on the property line. So when I continued the fence, and I thought I'd build it on the property line. But uh, so he built like nine feet of fence that I continued of the neighbor's fence that I believed was on the property line. Although he pointed out that he built this fence on the other side of the property line, like right up to the edge of the property line, not over the property line, like centered on it. And uh, so I looked at it and I go, yeah, your fence is, you know, right down the line, you know, right down the line. <laughs> So my fence was over the line, and he wanted to uh, cause a lot of trouble with the fence. So I just, you know, I just tore it down and moved it over. So that should be taken care of, although it turned into a big fiasco. <sighs> and then, so anyways, the last on the last video, we had our... Uh, Kubo house built the wooden structure and we had started on the bathroom and uh, we had you know block wall up about four feet high around the uh, around the bathroom but uh, look look what we got now we got uh, we got the bathroom is complete we've started building this or we've built the block wall on one side that you know the neighbor was complaining about we built that we got a beautiful gate there and a beautiful fence. And we got the, <laughs> one thing we had to do was uh, when we first started the bathroom, we had a two uh, container or a two slot septic tank. And we had to expand that to three because you need uh, three slots around here. So we expanded that, but we got the bathroom all finished. It's all beautiful. And then we've uh, started on, uh, the block wall on the other side. So we're kind of uh, got block walls on both sides of the property now, the front and the back. And we still need to build around uh, the sides of the property. So what we got here is we got our Kuba house there and our gate right there. The wall kind of goes to there. So what we're gonna do, this area here is gonna be like all parking. And then, about where that second stump is, you see the second stump right over there? Uh, we're gonna start building the house there. And then, so it's kind of like the back of the house here. And then further, further on, uh, we'll have like the swimming pool kind of on that side and then the main building over on this side. Plans are supposed to be ready today. Bernadette's picking them up and she's going to get some signatures. And uh, it'll probably take like another week or something like that to get uh, all the signatures from fire department, plumbing, and all that good stuff. So meanwhile, as soon as we get the, uh, the floor plan and we know where to start digging, we're planning on getting a backhoe next week to come in here and start digging for the foundation over there so that these guys could start uh, they're finishing up the fence over there and let's see like next week this week they'll have that fence uh, finished next week they can paint it and same time next week we'll have the uh, all the footings dug we got uh, that fence just finished can't tell if it's overexposed or not, but uh, so I have the footings dug, get the swimming pool dug, get all that backhoe work done next week, and then they can just start building. All I got to do is uh, bring them a bunch of uh, cement and rebar and sand and gravel <laughs> and hollow blocks, and we keep those guys busy for months. So uh, it's looking good. You know, I, I had, when we were staying in the uh, Kubo house, you know, it was kind of nice to have that, that open feeling, you know, of no block walls around. The only problem was, is that uh, 
you know, we're right along the main road and everybody that passed by on the main road was like looking in <laughs> at us, you know, it's like, we were like, uh, we had to like wave at everybody, everybody that passed, oh, hi, yeah, I'm uh, brushing my teeth, hi, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> so it's like, I wanted, I wanted to get a little bit of wall up there, you know, a little, you know, so people passing by, they don't, uh, you know, they're not looking at us doing our normal chores all day. And then, uh, and then, you know, we got to keep our guys busy. So we started building the wall on the, uh, the other side of the property. And then we'll like, we'll come around, you know, and connect the two walls. We got to, we will leave, uh, on the far side, uh, we'll leave a, a space, you know, sort of for the neighbor's access. And then also, since we got to have a road up there for the neighbors, you know, access to his property, we'll put another gate on that end of the uh, end of the property there, where we could drive in or uh, park outside the gate, or leave a little space that we could drive up that road and you know park outside or or drive into the property. And so we're I think we got. The house plans drawn up. We got the house plans drawn up. We're still waiting for uh, signatures on them. And the uh, well, here's here's uh, the picture of the house that we plan on making. And we're gonna face that like downhill toward the ocean, toward the river, and downhill it'll uh, where the swimming pool and the front will be. And then the the back of the house will be back where the, uh, the the gate is right now and then we'll have like parking area right there you know plenty of room for parking and garage and work on cars and that kind of thing in case we need it and then I'll show you a picture of the the floor plan for the first floor although uh, Bernadette uh, suggested that I don't show the floor plan for the second floor keep that a secret <clears throat> and I kind of yeah I kind of agree with that with you know the uh, with the trouble us bloggers are having you know I think I just keep that second floor secret you know so you guys don't know how to get around up there if you want to attack us or something like that <laughs> I don't know maybe you just want to criticize our, our plans or something I don't know but we'll just keep that second floor a secret and uh, so, and I want to say our, our workers, you know, we love them. They're doing a great job. Our foreman's great. This guy can do everything. And he keeps about a uh, total of five guys working. And we try to, you know, give these guys everything. You know, we try to get them uh, gloves and uh you know, uh, get them helmets, and uh, we got them some new protective shoes. You know, and they they seem really happy, and try to try to you know give them a barbecue like once a month on the Saturday. We give them a barbecue, and then like on Saturdays, you know, I, I used to work too, and I know like on Saturday it's like you want to get home. You know, those those last couple hours on a Saturday afternoon. They're just so slow and so unproductive, and you just want to go home. So we cut these guys loose on Saturdays, like, uh, you know, two hours early, give them a full day's pay, you know, and cut them loose. And, and I, I think that really helps a lot with the morale, you know. I want to keep these guys happy and keep them working. They're doing a great job, you know, and uh, we really, really appreciate their help. So, you know, shout out, shout out to my crew. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video and uh, hope uh, you guys think that I'm a respectful and uh, ethical, moral vlogger. I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want a bad reputation here just because I'm doing blogging, you know, it's something that I enjoy doing. And I don't want to hurt anybody or... Uh, cause any trouble or anything like that all right guys so keep watching subscribe
Tell your friends. <laughs> Hope you liked it. Bye now. Oh,